Hey everyone, just a quick video testing yet another screen protector for the Galaxy Note 8. So this is the WS uh, Shield. I've already opened it, as you can see it's a soft one. So I think a soft one, because I, I had put on a tempered glass screen protector on earlier, but ultimately I, I'm just too anal. I didn't like that um, there was dust gathering on the edges. So I'm going to switch to this one. So it's a soft one, but the, um, the difference is this one is spray. So it's it's a lot easier to to install when you spray it, and because um, the ones without spraying, you have to put it in, and then you have to put it on perfectly, basically. And I just don't have the skill for that. So, so this is the whole set. As you can see, you get a cloth, you get this little spray, and you get a piece of this, and you get wipes. Uh, one wet, one dry. So. You know the usual drill, just gotta wipe the phone really clean. I'm probably gonna fast forward the video right here because you know, nobody wants to see, like, you know, nobody wants to watch me wipe this shit down for like two minutes. So I'll probably fast forward it here. So what you have to do is you have to spray your finger first. You can spray the screen too, I believe, yeah. So good thing this phone is uh, waterproof because I don't even know if it's not waterproof, you're getting so much liquid on there. I don't even know how that would go, so. So you see, this is the front. Wait, what? I think I messed it up already, shit. That was the front. I'm not supposed to remove the front until the very end. But oh well. So just spray. So you kind of have to get it on the entire sheet. See, it's it's relatively easy because it's so wet. Like, so you can just put it put it on. It doesn't have to be exact, and then you can just move it after. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. Okay. Oh, my table's all wet now. Yeah, so you see how slippery it is because it's so wet, so you can move it on. I might have sprayed on a little bit too much. It's not supposed to be this slippery. But you see, because um, because it's so wet, there's liquid. It's a lot easier to get the bubbles out. When uh, usually when you do the plastic film, it's so hard to get the bubbles out. I don't I don't know how um the professional people do it. Like in Hong Kong, there are these dudes that can just do it in like five minutes. For me, it always takes. I'm talking about the dry ones, the dry plastic ones. It always takes me like twenty minutes, thirty minutes, and then I still don't get it completely right. So I gotta push the edges down. Right now it's sticking up a little bit. But I think it will stay down after it dries. I hope. Shit. That's a giant ass bubble. Boy. So I got a story to tell you guys. Um, any of you guys follow Flossie Carter? He's one of my favorite YouTubers because you know he's like not pretentious. He's just very raw. Because I think a lot of the tech YouTubers are like a little bit trying too hard to put on a show. You know, they they want to, and it's almost like they think they're the show. 
they think they're like a celebrity. They're on camera too much and they try to act all goofy and shit. I like that Flossy is just, he just tells it like it is and it just keeps it raw. So anyway, I was in New York a couple of days ago for ZTE's uh, phone event and I saw him there and, that, and I recognized him right away obviously because because he's huge. He's like, his arms are completely tatted up and he's huge and he has that really cool distinctive voice. So I was trying to, I wanted to go up to him and say hi, just to be like, hey dude, I'm a big fan of your work, but he was busy talking to another YouTuber, Tech Me Out. She's also really good. So Flossie and Tech Me Out were just uh, talking, you know, just chilling and I didn't want to bother him and plus you know Flossie could snap me in half so I was like a bit scared so so I just kind of stood at the side and, and watched him and that was it and I was doing work too I was like trying to film the video of the ZTE phone but yeah so that's the story I, I saw Flossie Carter in person and I wanted to say hi but I got scared because he is huge and he seemed busy Okay, so I think this is it. So you see the sides it doesn't look that good right now, but I believe when it dries it will look better because I've, I've put on these kind of wet ones before. The feel is okay. It obviously doesn't feel as nice as a uh, tempered glass because it's, it's, pla it's a plastic film. It doesn't feel as smooth, but this should be a little bit more touch sensitive and also it won't collect muck all the way on the sides. So let me squeeze it one more time with a squeegee. There's a slight bubble here, but um, I'm, I'm, if you read the box, it says I will go away in 24 hours, so we'll see. But even if it doesn't, that's small enough that I'm okay with it. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this other thing too. <clears throat> I, don't, um, I don't know, this isn't that big in the US, but in Asia, a lot of people use these rings on the back of the phone to keep the phone, you know, it gives you a grip. It's very useful in Asia, because in Asia, most people, you know, are out and about, like, like they're not driving. They're holding a phone one-handed on a subway, so it's kind of dangerous to drop your phone. So some people use the rings. I've never been a fan, but I found this thing. So this is not part of the case. This case is separate. This thing here, you stick on with some 3M tape, and I like it because, um, Unlike a ring, it doesn't stick out that much. It's relatively flat. And then also, you can bring this down and then you have grip. So I've been using my Note 8 like this, like this, and it gives me a lot of grip because so now when I'm on the subway in Hong Kong, I can hold the phone with one hand confidently knowing if someone bumps into me, the phone's not going to fly out of my hand because there's this. I'm actually thinking of taking this out of the case and just use it on the phone and just go caseless because I, you know, I, I feel like if you buy a phone that's this slim and thick, it kind of kills the purpose to to use a bulky case. In fact, I'm going to try it now, actually. So what I like about, um, about the 3M tape, those things is you can keep taking them off over and over. So, I'll peel them off right now. So this thing, I don't know if you can buy in the US yet, but um, you can buy them in China off Taobao for like a buck like a buck fifty US. Um, I know that if this is available in like like Best Buys or something, it's gonna be like nine ninety nine. It's kinda sad how much more marked up these things are when they get to the US. Ooh, I hope this doesn't ruin the case. So I got this case off Taobao too for like two bucks US, two dollars. So you see the back is just, so we clean the back a little bit. Oh, I hope I can put it on evenly, I don't know. So now, I can bring this down and hold the phone like this. And you can also prop the phone up right here with this. So that's pretty cool. So this is available on Taobao right now. The brand is called Shubem. Shubem. I'm not paid to, to advertise for these guys. I paid for this myself. I just thought it was cool. 
this too, I pay for this all myself. This is not like free shit that I got I'm sponsoring. So, okay. So this is the plastic film protector with this thing. So now I'm, I think I'm going to go caseless just to see because now I'm confident with this. I'm not going to drop it. And now I have a screen protector protecting the screen a little bit from scratches. So, okay. Thanks for watching.